Yo, yo, yo. Crazy white boy Dan the Wolfman here. OG from Detroit. Guys, I'm going to do something that I thought I would never do until my deathbed. Because it's a damn shame all this knowledge has been lost. I think I'm the only one left. I haven't seen anything else out there on YouTube that even understands all the techniques, that even knows all 52 techniques, that doesn't even understands the applications, the various applications for each technique and why. All right, I don't always go into all my business. I was born and raised in Detroit and then I've traveled the world since. That includes six months in the motherland in Africa, living in Egypt. Okay, but I've had a very strange, very, very strange, very eclectic life. So without seeing it, I actually just put out the first set. The first set of 26 set techniques. And right now I'm going to do it. I'm going to film the secret second set of 26 techniques, of 26 blocks. The two sets to make 52 blocks. Got other people, they've only shown a few. They've only shown a few. They don't even... <laughs> they don't even have half of the totality. Yeah, you got to have your basic boxing game and defenses blocks down. But what about it when you're in a cell? What about training solo, training with a partner, training solo in a cell? What about knife defense? What about protecting your balls? This is stuff that's all forgotten, guys. So I'm going to go through it and then I'll break it down. All right, I hope you saw that. A couple things look like they were cut off. I'm going to do it one more time, then I'm going to break it down. My footwork. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Because it's about survival. It's about when things pop off. It's about defending the sucker punch. Technique number one. Block number one. Claps. Application. So claps your pottery. Stand there, some dude throws a punch. You don't know that line. You don't know what angle. You don't know if his hand's got a shiv in it or not. So pot right here. Top of neck, headbutt, knee, elbow. Knee the grown elbow in the face. Pottery. Claps. Picks up the lines of attack. Shields your neck, heads down. Chop that neck, head, butt, knee, the ball, elbow the face. What about a sucker punch from the sides? Rear shoulder roll. Did forward shoulder roll in the first set. This is the second set. This is when shit gets real serious. No one else seems to know this. I gotta put it out there. Hope this doesn't make any of you old timers mad. I don't think anyone's left. I don't think anyone knows it. I got like 10, maybe 18 down. It's called 52 for a reason. Someone comes sucker punch you here. Shoulder roll, back fist, cross. Crazy monkey over the top. Back fist, cross. Multiple opponents. Same thing the other side. 
rear shoulder roll to pick up that sucker punch. Back fist cross. Crazy monkey because that punch is coming in. Yo, you got to shield your head and neck. Back fist cross. This also works for crazy monkey during riots when you're surrounded by a whole gang. It's about survival. Okay. What's next? Elbow taps. What would elbow taps do? Well, that can intercept the jab and break the hand. And then the cross comes in, that intercepts the cross and breaks the hand. I'll get closer for that. Bang, bang. What else could elbow taps be for? Oh, you got the head collar tap. Uppercut elbow, smash the face, the other elbow. Two different applications, same technique. In close CQB fighting. Close quarters, right? What's next? Blind the opponent. Parry that jab, I jab. Parry that jab, hook his bicep, elbow destruction. Yeah, some things look like Ponitukin. Some things bare knuckle boxing. Well, that's what it is. Like bare knuckle people out there. It's about survival. All right, then bob and weave or duck under. Big hook, guy charges in, big haymaker, right? All the time. Bob and weave under that, catch that neck, get your position, drive his ass against the wall. What can you do from there? You need that liver. You need that liver. You need the balls. You need that liver. Bite his ear off. Rip his jugular out with your teeth, or hammer the liver with some hooks. Head and arm control. Pin him against the, the wall. Pin him against the cage. From there, step four, peekaboo. Close the door. Punches come in sometimes. Close it on the punch. Peekaboo. Or walk forward. Right? What's next? Houdini, for, Foreman, George Foreman, bum rush, drive him against the wall. Protect your head and neck. Protect your head and neck. Protect your goddamn head and neck. Drive him in. Right? Make sense? So here. Peekaboo, close the door. Peekaboo, close the door. Houdini bum rush, Foreman Houdini bum rush. Birds or butterfly up here. Birds or butterfly up here. Hands constantly crossed over. Why? For a reason. So you can always grab like a lopsile, grabbing, pulling hand. Pull that arm across. Mostly for a knife coming over like this. Alright, overhead stab. Pick that up, grab that arm, break the elbow. Other side. Defend that incoming knife. Butterfly. Birdies. Grab that arm. Grab that wrist. Pull it across. Elbow the elbow. Break the elbow with your own elbow. Arm bar for real. Okay. So, peekaboo, peekaboo. Houdini, Houdini. Butterfly. Birdies. Low butterfly or cross block. Low stab, kick to your nuts, knee to your nuts. You're in a clinch and knees to your nuts. You can pass it. The top hand is for passing, like I just talked about passing the arm, passing the leg, passing the kick, passing the knees, passing the knife. Makes sense, right? Look where I'm practicing all by myself in a very closed in space. Makes sense, right? Okay. So you're up high, up high, down low. Down low. Not the most common stab. Grab your neck, grab your shirt, pump you, sewing machine style. Jam and punch. Jam that first attack, you should actually double it, triple it up. Try and wrap that up. Other side, jam and punch, which really is you practicing that forward spring energy. Bang, bang, bang. It's about survival. From there, jaws. Jaws, what does Jaws do? Picks up almost all the other angles except really high and really low. Low comes in behind the leg. The jam is when you use it really up close. You see the shiv, you see the knife on the street? Jaws, pick it up, pass it. Rush into a one, break that elbow, 
face smash them into the ground. Jaws, pass, two on one, control. Shove him in the wall, shove him in the ground, bang his head into the, in the bars. Survival. After that, knee block, knee block. This was mostly done, protect pretty common. People start a fight, they throw a front kick to your nuts. Survival. Nowadays, it could be modified. Boxing on the street, okay? Those going cross moves, they throw a low kick. You're gonna do a knee destruction against that round kick. Yo, Chris Weidman versus Anderson Silva. Wonder why I had videos on it years before. This is a secret set, the last 26 of 52 blocks. Each one's a block, count them off. You gotta do those rear shoulder punch coming in, bang, and how to go on a hit. Crazy monkey coming back to the other opponent, crazy monkey, or he's surrounded by a bunch, crazy monkey, claps, picks up anything. Some guy's in your face, starts to swing. You don't know what hand is it, he is. You don't know if he's got a shiv behind his leg, he's just there, he pulls it, boom. Right, you pick that up, it could have been a quick, quick slash against your neck. Picks it up, bang, 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 bang. Elbow taps, boom, boom. Break that jab, break that cross. Break those knuckles, bare knuckles, right baby? Survival. Told you, it could be a grab in the neck, elbow in the face. All right, so we're in here. Doing our game. You got it? Multiple people, he's got a weapon. I jab, bigger dude. Trying to stop you, make him his girlfriend. I jab, throws a jab again. Slip it, hook that bicep, destroy that muscle, take his weapon away. Oh, isn't that interesting, the concept applies. Most people box orthodox. You switch to softball, why? Because you got a shift, he's got a shift. You got a knife on the street, he's got a knife. Well, now we're slicing and stabbing. We got something coming in, we're gonna slip it, we're gonna stab to his face and neck. Comes in again, can't reach him. We're gonna stab that wrist, stab that bicep, cut that brachial artery. It's about survival. It's not about just dance and hip hop. Yeah, you gotta have rhythm. But you have to understand the reason why. And none of the videos out there understand any of this that I'm throwing at you. It's all gotten lost. I'm putting it out there because it could help people survive that live in bad areas. It could help people low income, whether they're in, in Detroit or Chicago or LA, New York, they're in Cairo, they're anywhere around the world. They can't even afford gloves. Maybe those little racquetball gloves, maybe MMA gloves. In the streets, people fight barefisted. It's gotta work that way. It's gotta work to protect yourself. Survival. Where were we? That jab comes in. Close the door. That cross comes in. Smack on it. Mess him up. He doesn't know what you're doing. Right? Fight starts. Bigger dude. Bone rush. Form of defense. Look at my head and neck protected. Driving him into the wall. Taking that other power step. Using your legs to drive from football. Right? We're driving him in. Here we can hook. Uppercut. Work on the inside. Get him against the wall. We're walking him down as we are. Right? What's after that? Huh? We gotta defend up high. Defend up high. Defend up high. Right? That knife comes in, usually right handed. We grab that wrist, you break that elbow. Come in here, whoa, we pick it up. Break that elbow with your own elbow. Drive them down to the ground. Snap it. Snap. Sorry kids, this is about survival. This isn't for children. Okay? So guys, that's what it's about. 
that low stab, I told you, here, boom, parry it away from your, your nuts and your guts, parry that, get it, control two on one, same thing other side of course needs to be practiced, makes sense right, most common coming up here, bam, shiv attack, right, you're ready, control, bang, other side, bang, arm lever, down, things got to be fast, down, and dirty, and the other leg will step high, low, I explained it, jaws of life, man, jaws of life, man, picks it up, kind of looks a little bit like some of those, that Wing Chun influence, doesn't it? You see a little bit of Kali influence, doesn't it? But you see the down and dirty kind of original art going back a very long time. Getting more popular again in the 70s. But going back a long time even before that, down and dirty. Some of the fights that were going on in the South way back when. Hmm. You gotta finish it. Smaller guy gotta have a chance against a bigger guy. One's got to have a chance against three or four. One's got to have a chance against a knife or a shift. You got to know your boxing. Homeboy throws a front kick at your boss. You got to defend that. You got to defend that. Nowadays, you got to block that round kick with your knees. You got to know how to close the door, protect the manhood. So, guys, I put that video out there just showing a little bit of sparring in Japan in Korea against pro fighters. Looking like a little bit of Ali. I was doing cage dope before Anderson Z Silva did it in his UFC fights. Check that out when I was at Korean Top Team. I've given you little hints there, but I'm a white boy. No one wants to see what's going on. So there it is. I showed you the first set of 26 blocks. Here's the second set I didn't think I'd ever show to my deathbed, but there, there, there seems to be no one out there. They got bits and stories, and then there's, you know, oh, the butterfly and the bird are different. No. You know, they got different names, but some of it comes down. Is Houdini separate than Bon Rush? No, it's about application. I could be out here, just boxing my game. Boom, boom, right? But in a cell, in close quarters, I gotta get control, jam in him, protect my head and neck if he does have a shift. I gotta get some control, knee this guy in the nuts, elbow him in the face. Short hooks, what, or what elbows? Hooking across, elbows, elbow, elbow, elbow. Right behind you, elbow. Mike Tyson action, right? Oh, some forearms are sliding across those jaws. Yeah, it's about survival. Guys, I hope you appreciate this. I hope what's left of the very segmented and warring little factions that are left. Yeah, I'm not in New York. Not in LA. I'm not in Chicago right now. I was born in Detroit. Lived in Africa. I ain't gonna go into the whole stories. But I was bringing it up years ago. Sneak it in a Rashad Evans interview that was on the main page of USA Today. He's like, oh, man, that's cool. You know about 52. Yeah, I know about Jay Hoss Rock. 52 blocks. I just showed the, 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 the last 26. Earlier, I showed the first 26 set. 52 blocks to save your ass. 52 that you could practice solo in a small area or with a partner. 52 getting that rhythm down. 52 distracting their eyes, moving from stance to stance on both sides of your body, protecting from people trying to take you out, that jack you, that have a plan to attack you. Yo, I'm Dan the Wolfman, guys. Please thumbs up, please subscribe. I'll catch you later.